This video will show you how to install plus two magazine base pads. Things you will need. First, your magazine. Or this is a stock magazine. It has a flat floor plate. This one is a 1911 high capacity magazine in 9mm. Yours may have a base pad instead of a instead of a base plate so it may look a little different um, let's take a look at the orientation of the follower so this is how it looks like there's the shape there's that notch when a round is in it it goes in through this side now why am I showing the followers orientation just so you know when you reassemble the magazine that's how it's gonna look like that next we're gonna need a punch so any small punch will do it would be better if the punch was made out of brass or metal that is non-marting this punch is gonna punch out the floor plate when we disassemble the magazine so if you use a steel punch or a hard material that would scratch the it would potentially scratch your magazine next we need the base pad. I'll give you a closer look of this. So this is our plus two magazine base pad. It's for a uh, para ordnance, arm score, and bull M5 high cap 1911 magazines. So this is how it looks. This one is made by Tony Pasqual here in the Philippines yours may be different so this is how it would look and last it would help if you would have a special tool this is a flathead screwdriver with a cut in the middle let me give you a closer look this is a flathead screwdriver that has been grinded in the center with a triangular file so what's the point of this tool this tool will capture the magazine spring from the inside and push it down so w this would help a lot in keeping that spring sp magazine spring coil captive without slipping around where a regular flathead screwdriver would be slipping all over the place this one would help a lot So these are the tools you need. Let's get started. So first, we're going to disassemble the magazine. All right. So first, let's disassemble the magazine. Get our magazine. We push down on the center piece with a punch push down here and now we can slide our base plate forward if you have a base pad you would slide that base pad forward be very careful the spring tension here pushing the floor plate up keep your thumb over it or keep it secure we're gonna pull off the base plate alright this is your floor plate you get our magazine spring out inside this magazine tube the metal tube is the follower so we have our parts here after disassembling the next step is to install the magazine base pad so this is the plus two magazine base pad I would recommend that even before putting back the spring 
we will hand fit the base pad onto the magazine tube. Down here there are metal flanges or m pieces of metal rails where we could ride the magazine base pad on. If your magazine base pad is new, it's going to be a very tight fit. So this is the orientation of the magazine. The follow follower goes in like that, along with the lines of it. I would recommend hand fitting this several times. So we will hand fit it. It's a tight fit, slips in, goes all the way back. Then we're gonna take it out. It's a little tight. It gets out. I would recommend doing this several times. I did it a lot of times. I did it around 50 or 100 times just to get it th at this state. And now it's easier to put in, easier to slide back, easier to get out this will help immensely when you have to disassemble when you have to disassemble your magazine trust me on this one it's going to help a lot so that's a tip that i would recommend hand fit it um there are two methods to do this you can do it number one the caveman style i would call it um just do it by hand again and again still tight Eventually, it would get loose, like that, let's put it back on, eventually it would get smoother, it would get easier to put back on and to remove it. The second tip, if you were a gunsmith or knowledgeable on modifying your firearm, you could find the areas where the fit is tight and use sandpaper around 400 grit or the right grit that you find to, to sand down these areas of the magazine which are tight which are tight fit that way your magazine base plate your magazine base pad would fit in more easily so that's actually the faster method if you know what you're doing if not, my advice would do the caveman method, which I've done, <laughs> or hand fit it in, hand fit it out until you got it to the point that you're comfortable putting it on and removing it. Be careful when you do this, because you can deform the rails of your magazine base pad if you force it too much. Next step, after you have fitted your magazine base pad and reached a level where you're comfortable, and reached a level where you're comfortable, where you can easily remove it and put it back on. All we have to do next is get all we have to do next is put back the spring. So you do not have to use the floor plate. You can if you do. Here's a sample from a magazine. And yes, the floor plate is still on. You do not have to use the floor plate. Let's put back the follower. Goes on like that. Put back the magazine. Now we're going to put back the magazine base pad. Push down on the spring. Oops, let's secure this. Alright.
it will help a lot if you could if you've hand fitted your magazine base battery at this point makes it so much easier to install it with that spring there now you got your magazine the base pad on now the harder part actually is not installing it it's disassembling the magazine base pad once it's on so the next step is disassembling the magazine base pad this is where the tool comes in the special tool your flathead screwdriver with a grind with a filed area in the center now what you can do here there are two methods to disassemble this the first method is probably the I would call the proper method so here you get your magazine we're gonna push down from this hole find that spring capture it I've got it and now we're gonna push forward again very key if you have if you have done the break in and the hand fitting of your magazine base pad it would help immensely when disassembling this let's just push this forward I've cleared it normally the spring would get caught over here in the inside since I pushed it down with the tool it's out of the way put my thumb here to catch any spring tension that may pop out any hazards push this down slide the magazine base pad forward sliding this forward tight fit comes off your magazine base pad then comes out your magazine spring installing it Let's put it back again now let's check if my spring spring is on properly properly on the follower that may actually cause problems one time I couldn't load the, the right number of one time I could only load 18 rounds instead of 19 because my spring wasn't properly on so that's a uh, troubleshooting in case you may get that problem which I got again if you've done your hand fitting it's gonna help immensely again when reinstalling let's put this down clear the spring from the magazine base pad let's clear that away all right you're in now the second method on how to disassemble your magazine with the magazine base pad installed I call it the caveman method and I do not recommend this unless your magazine well your rails are already broken in you can easily slide it in and out and if you have no other option you have no other tools so how do you remove your, your magazine base pad okay we're gonna start sliding it off notice the spring over here gets caught which is why we use the tool and the first option to push it out of the way so I'm gonna keep my thumb here in case any spring flies out this is the caveman method let's slide it forward let's slide it forward carefully forward carefully let's inch it once there's enough clearance here I'm gonna put my thumb and push down on that spring I'm gonna ease it forward ease it forward this is under tension comes right out the magazine spring was bent a little forward so 
if you have no other option, you could try that one out, that caveman method comes out. Take, take out your magazine spring, you got your magazine tube, you got your follower in there. And for those guys who can take it out easily already, I think this is why Tony Pasquale put this pin in the back. When, which once you fully install it, you can hammer it, that pin, to secure the plus two magazine base pad. Some other plus two magazine base pads have a hole. You can stick an allen wrench in there and a screw protrudes in the back which secures it also. So here we got our magazine tube. We got our follower, we got the spring, we got the plus two magazine base pad.